Hello everybody, welcome back to Alundra, Count Kyo here. It's been a while. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for joining me. Uh, I don't know if this is going up first or if RimWorld's going up first. If this is going up first, hey, welcome back. Thanks for letting me take a little bit of a vacation. We had kind of a, a crazy time with uh, Texas weather. Uh, I just hit circle and I think it used one of the herbs in my inventory and I'm a little disappointed about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, we the weather's been kind of crazy down here. <laughs> Uh, man, it's been bonkers, but I'm, I'm glad to be back. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy to get back into doing some recording. Everything is fine. Whole family is fine. And so we'll just, uh, we'll just do the business. All right. Uh, it's been a little bit since I played this. I think I needed to come down here. I went to Tarns and I got a book and now I need to find an old man. Oh no 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 no! I don't go to the old man. I go to the I go to the other dude. I think. And then yeah 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 this guy. Hell yeah! I'm not moving. That means it's a cutscene. Ah, uh, help me! Oh, Grandpa! If you die, I'll certainly die too. Septimus, please help my grandpa. You're the only one who can save him. Despite my having prayed at the shrine of Magasker, there was no change. I can't believe that all that prayer did no good. Perhaps I wasn't sincere enough. Uh, Alundra, you've returned. And you brought a book. Great. We can read him his last rites. <laughs> Jesus. Handed him a tome. Specifically, it's the tome I brought, right? I see. Alundra, you are of the clan of Elna, the Dreamwalkers. You have the power to enter the dreams of other people and change their outcome. You can use this power to rescue Wendell from his disabling nightmare. You must go to him at once. I'll keep reading as you attempt to enter his dream to assist you. Are you ready, Alundra? Take Wendell's wrist gently in your hand. There, that's it. Now, grab him by the waist and do -si do Now concentrate. Try to feel his heartbeat pulse beneath your fingertips. Listen to the rise and fall of his breath, Alundra. Try to breathe in time with him. Inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, and out, burger! Do you feel the flow, Alundra? Are you ready to make the leap? Hell yeah. Oh god, I was not ready for it to freak out. <laughs> I was woefully unprepared. Hey, we're in Wendell's dream. Uh, that was a scream. That was just a straight up scream. Okay, I can't do anything with that. I uh, can't do anything with this. Oh, it's about to be some puzzle solving. Help! Please help me! Hmm? What? What the fuck? Ah! Oh! The old man is surrounded by little pustule slimes. No, I'll help you. Please deliver me! Come on, Amazon! It's been two days already! <laughs> deliver me my medicine! Help me, someone, anyone. You're a kind of androgynous elf. All right, so let's bop this. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, can't go that way yet. That's fine. So yeah, the weather weather's been real crazy. Uh, we had it a lot better than a lot of people in Texas did, which I I, I very much worried for a lot of people in the state. But uh, it's it's been crazy, and even even when we did have internet or power, I just didn't really want to do anything. Like that that amount of cold when you're not used to it just sucks all the energy out of you. I was done so. But uh, I'm, I'm glad to be recording now. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys some of the stuff that we've got coming down the pipeline. Not only. Uh, video wise game wise but we'll uh we'll maybe have some changes to the videos here make them a little more interesting soon i'm also hoping to put out a little more content f a little more frequently than i had been 
Like, well, like one, one a day has been good, but I've, I've been wanting to play so much different stuff, right? I just hadn't had the chance. Okay, you made me come up here. Oh, I got a fight. I bet I got a fight. Oh, lots of slimes. Oh, slime men. They're jumping out and slashing at me. I need like a charge attack or something. Ah, give me, give me that money. Yeah, I gotta start wearing some of these down. I can't just be fighting all of them the entire time. Okay, there we go. Get him in the corner and give him the business. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Lundra. I don't know what this is for. I feel like it's slightly important. First, I'm gonna hit the switch I didn't hit earlier. Okay, cool. So I can go back there now? Neat. Standing on the chest doesn't do much. Ah, oh, I got a gilded falcon! Excellent. I can make a 1940 suspense movie about it. Uh, I mean, no, that was Maltese Falcon, but like the idea is still there, right? Um, what do I do with this? Okay. I don't really like what you're doing here. Wait, did that do something? Oh, okay. I understand what's going on here. Alright, so I gotta go up, down, up, down. Wendell. Oh, thank the gods, you've come at last. Who, who are you? Alondre, please tell me you've come to release me from this horrid nightmare. I don't want any pudding. Oh, okay. I guess I'll help the old man. Sure. Oh, no. No, they're becoming Ultra Pudding. Oh, that's weirdly weird looking. Like, w w strangely gross. I kind of hate it. Um, is this, is this all you're going to do? Like, no offense. Even for a first boss, this is kind of bad. Like, not bad, just easier than I thought it would be. You're not, like, shooting anything at me. You're just kind of slowly trying to trap me, and you don't hurt the old man, so I can just kind of... I've got, like, this whole arena to use. Wait, am I supposed to do something else? I don't really feel like... Oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, I don't really feel like I'm making much progress. Okay, this this part significantly more annoying at least. Okay, stop with the goopiness. You're being weird and goopy, and I don't appreciate it. Good thing I don't have to like protect protect Wendell. Is he be just dead? Alright. Like I've been touched. No, don't get... Alright, let's take care of these little ones first, because otherwise, yeah, they're going to start trying to punch me. You don't want a bunch of those out all at once. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, like this. This this is what I was concerned about. Like, specifically. Oh, I should have focused. Uh, I've got herbs left. I will use them if I have to. I'm not that proud. I appreciate them giving me money, but some health would be good. Ah, uh, piss off. Piss off. Oh no. Wow, you've actually somehow managed to make a more annoying I'm close to dead sound than Legend of Zelda. It's pretty impressive. We 
we're getting there. One more. You go to bed pretty easy? Oh, I imagine he'd be pretty tired. The Gelatinoid has been defeated. Not what I would have named it, but cool. I would have called him JT Jelly, but whatever. He's just... Black. Is black the word he likes to say now? Phew, thunderation! That was some of my f some of the finest swordsmanship I've ever witnessed. Thank you. You beat up a whole bunch of puddings. <laughs> oh, old man. Don't you just hate it when an old man gets attacked by jelly slimes and then disappears? Alundra, can you hear me? It is I, Septimus. Wendell's body has stopped tensing and he's not mowing anymore. He might be dead. Oh, it, in fact, he appears to be smiling. I don't know what you did, but his nightmare is definitely over. Yeah, thanks for helping me. Weren't you like, I'm going to look in this book and see how to help you, and you were zero help. Oh, I'm back. You're back now? It was so strange. When you entered Wendell's dream, your body went slack. If I hadn't studied you, you certainly would have fallen to the floor. When you exited the dream, your body appeared to reanimate. It was quite a sight to behold. It's cool. You went unconscious. We could have done anything we wanted to. <laughs> you just find a mirror like an hour later and they just drew all over your face. There's no need to be concerned, Mead. It appears that he that this is to be the norm when he enters others' dreams. Which is a normal thing. I'm just going to treat as normal. It's normal. I understand what you're saying, but it still gives me shivers. I'm grateful, but I don't have to like it. Yeah, no, I, I get that. <laughs> Oh, where am I? What what in tarnation is going on? When did I become a 1940s western old man? <laughs> Grandpa, you're awake! Yay! <laughs> Can someone explain what in Hades I'm doing in bed at this hour? It's bullshit. I should be out getting bitches. <laughs> Don't you remember, Father? You've been asleep for the past three days, trapped in a terrible nightmare. Hmm? Eh. But you're okay now. You're awake, and even more importantly, alive. I remember now. I was being chased by a foul, horrid creature of pure evil. It looked like five individual jellies. <laughs> no matter where I fled in that terrible world, the beast found me. At last, I fell to the ground, too exhausted to continue the cruel charade. When I struggled to my feet to face my end, I saw the glorious face of Alundra and my salvation. You know he can beat up jellies? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Grandpa knows Alundra's name. He couldn't have known that unless Alundra really went into his dream. How cool is that? No, actually, that's valid. I don't think... yeah. Window has survived? Praise the gods! I must report this wonderful news to Chancellor Ronan at once! I'm, it's not creepy that I'm outside, right? Well then, Alundra, I guess it's time we left Window alone for some much needed rest. He's been asleep for three days, so surely he's tired. Come, return with me to my home, and I'll explain your powers in greater detail. While you were gone, I uncovered some fascinating things about your gift! Septimus, Alundra. Thank you so much for saving Grandpa. Yeah, sure, no problem, man. Saving Grandpa's is what I do. Uh, what the hell is that sound? Greetings, Alundra. Chancellor Ronan has requested an audience with you and sent me to fetch you, Alundra. If you could come with me to the sanctuary to meet him, he'd be most appreciative, I'm certain. I don't know about you, but, like, you have a really douchey portrait. <laughs> you, you seem kind of like a douche. Ronan wants to speak with you? That's certainly strange. But you better see what he wants. I'm certain he'll be pleased to learn that Wendell's all right. Tell you what, Alundra. After you and he have spoken... Good English. Meet me back here at my home. No, it's not good English. Meet me back here at my home so that we can discuss your powers at length after you and he? That's yeah, no, it's correct English, but it's not good English. It doesn't it doesn't feel good on my ears. That's you speak bad English. 
Me no speak English bad. Me speak only English good. And speak well English. Thank you. Me am to English good speak. This way. Through the grass, specifically. <laughs> we could have avoided that, but whatever. Fuck you, right? Oh, we're going in this house. This feels like a dungeon. Ooh, excuse me. I'm very sleepy. Maybe I shouldn't have recorded this so late. Oh, yeah, you you look like a trustworthy dude. Yes, I know, Alundra. Wendell has survived. The gods held forth a thread of salvation for his soul. Oh, you're one of those guys. Let us pray to the gods and thank them for their undeserved benevolence. Eh, no, I don't really think so. Have you no respect for the powers of salvation? On your knees. Let us pray to the gods and thank them for the undeserved kindness they have extended. Nah, I don't think so. Have you no... Oh, wow, yeah. You're, just, you're gonna make me do it. I'm gonna try one more time. God damn it. By one more time, I meant one more time. God damn it, you're actually gonna make me do this? Alright, fine. Do the prayer thing. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, ye of faith. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you see? The gods do exist. They exist in the hearts and minds of those that pray dearly to them. Like, <laughs> alright. I really hope you're not evil. Because you, you seem like you would bleed on my sword a lot. And I'm not into that. Like, is that really what you called me over here to talk about? Is just be like, pray to God. Alright, cool. With your big ass, like, 80 foot bad dragon candle. What about you, douche nozzle? Ha! Now you are one with us, my friend. You shall become just as we. No better, no worse. Um, did I just get sucked into a cult? Because I'm not really... Not really into the whole be a bitch thing. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm in a cult now. Cool. Good job, Alundra. Really glad there was no way we could avoid that. Good. I feel like there's stuff I should be able to do in here, but I just can't yet. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a lever. I can't reach it! No! <laughs> Piece of shit. You've teased me with the lever. I want it. No, I want the lever. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, I'll come back. I'm sure I could do something with that later. There's probably like a ranged weapon or something I get. I need to go talk to Septum, the the nose guy. Septimal. Septimus. Septimus Prime. Alright. See, I can dodge the grass. I don't know why you made me walk through the weeds just to go talk to the preacher. Kind of rude, if you ask me. Whatever. Um... Yeah, this should be his house. Is this his house? No. That was the old man's house. Everyone's still hanging out with Grandpa. It's understandable. He's been asleep for a while. Give him a space. Alundra, I have news for you. Please come near. <laughs> Please leave room for Jesus. <laughs> Wendell is not alone in his affliction of cursed dreams. There's a girl named Sybil, who dreams though she is awake. She claims that in her dreams she sees events that have yet to occur. Nadia is another. She sleeps and strange events occur. Nearby objects explode as if packed with dynamite. Oh god. <laughs> I'm told that she's not slept in days and teeters near insanity. I journeyed here three long years ago. I'd heard tales of a village cursed by eerie happenings. I believed I could determine the cause of the madness. But, all I've ascertained thus far is the limits of my ability. But now that you've come, everything has changed! There's a useful person here! Fuck yeah! You hold the power to stop the nightmares, Lundra. I've witnessed your might in combating the evil, and I envy you. Alundra, with your power and my knowledge, we could save the good people of Anoa. We could find the source of the evil nightmares. And we could banish it to the eternal prison of history. I kind of like the way he put that, though. The eternal prison of history. I'm okay with that. It's verbose. 
All right, what do you want me to do? I mean, who do you want me to go help? Oh, you, okay, things had to explode first, cool. Oh, something's rumbling. Feels like an earthquake! Either that or someone has their base up way too loud. Oh, this is terrible, awful, it's collapsed. The freaking coal mine has collapsed. <laughs> ah, the freaking coal mine's collapsed. The coal mine? Let's go, Alundra. Perhaps we can help. Ah, the freaking coal mine. Ah, shit. It's collapsed. All right, let's go. Let's go handle the coal mine. I guess I'll go up here. Is this where the coal mine is? That's where the black screen is. Alright. Here's a sign. I guess I could look at it. Magascar, and you know, uh... Oh, coal mine. Yeah. Oh. Give me... Give me that mun. That mun mun. We need that money, honey. Some rocks. Uh, is this the coal mine? There's no way this is the coal mine. Where is it? Is it? It's like a blacksmith shop. Or forge. Yeah, this is definitely a forge. Just yeet that over there. I feel like this is going to be important later. It just seems like a place where people would be at some point. Alright, I probably just need to help everybody. Maybe everyone is normally in here and then the, I don't know, like the coal mine exploding made them, I don't know, do literally anything else. Good job, Kyo. Good check. G good place to check first. Really, uh, really nailed it. Let me move my microphone back a little bit. There we go. Kind of in my face. I didn't appreciate it encroaching on my face. Oh, hey there. Damn it, Klein. I keep finding you. Olin was mumbling the word Merg when he was found in the mine. It's a fucking weird word. Do you really think those mad simians found their way into the mine shaft? I don't even know what you're talking about. We have to smash through this cursed boulder to reach Zane and the others. I fear their condition will be even worse than that of Olin. Hmm... Eh. Okay, can't do anything like that. Um, shit, dude. I know a coal mine. Shortcut to the lake. Is that where I need to go? Uh, let's try this house. Maybe he's in here. Hey, buddy. Anybody in here? Nothing here but a bunch of bottles. That opening little chime there when I went in there, the background music sounded a lot like... Was it the library theme? Or no, it was like the Ice Caves theme in uh, Symphony of the Night, actually. It's really cool sounding. I love that. I love that one. Alright. Here we go. This is where I need to be. The Waterfall Cave. Oh no. Oh no, I've made a mistake. Nope, nope. I don't like the fact that y'all can just, like, assault me. Okay, so... So I need, like, a bomb or something that I can... Hold on. Yeah, do I have any range that I can actually jump on that platform and then kill them while on the platform, maybe? I may have to come back once I get, like, a throwable. Alright, come on over, guys. Alright, come on. Yeah, I need, like, a throwable weapon or something. But I can't, I can't convince them to get any closer. That's fine. I'll try and remember where that place is for later.
Because if I can stand on that platform and just chuck shit at them, it seems like killing all of them will get the platform up where I need it to be. And then we'll be in the money. I mean, I'll take a herb. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's not exactly what I was looking for. I didn't really want to go back in the cave. I was just trying to get to the point where I could walk across the waterfall. Um, yeah. Just head out of there, please. Alright, well, if that's not where I want to be, where do I want to be, specifically? Huh. I know I don't want to wait for our love to be over. You know what I mean? Oh, what? You don't like my musical references all of a sudden? Oh, okay. Oh, Captain Smart Pants. What was it actually, and why should I care? I don't want to wait for my life to be over. Oh, I don't want to wait for my life to be over. Oh no. Well, that's the that's the correct one then. <laughs> I figured. I was a teenager. What do you want? Not a lot, really. I'm pretty easy to please. Um. So maybe I need to go back and talk to Olin? So it sounds like Olin got injured, so most likely what they need me to do is go freaking talk to him and find out what happened. That's my guess. Oh, this is a weird place. Hello, goop. I mean, I'm here. Let's check this place out real quick. A tree. Okay, I probably need to take down that briar patch to go get to the chest. That's understandable and frustrating. Hello? Okay, so interesting stuff that I obviously can't do anything about, so that's... Like, it's cool, because I know it's here, but it's frustrating, because I can't do anything about it yet. No trespassing. The Riverside Pub is under construction. You far off. Oh, I can't get in. Alright, well, don't go far off. Just show me the way. You sure showed me. It's down here. Yeah, I'm definitely not going where I need to be. Um, but also... Oh, hello, Rock Turtle. You know what? Let's go. Let's go back up. <laughs> we need to... We probably need to play this one a little closer to the sleeve. You know? It's not closer to the sleeve, it's like closer to the vest, right? I'm trying to remember what that actual saying was. I feel like it's closer to the vest. It is, yeah. Closer to the sleeve. Uh, apparently, when I haven't slept very well and it's also ass 30 in the morning, I forget what basic American colloquialisms are. I don't even know if that's an American clo colloquialism. I just know I'm American and I've heard it. It probably started over in like fucking Denmark or something. Why can't it be Denmark? Denmark's gotta have stuff too. It can't just be known as the place called Denmark. Like, at least let, let them have something. They're Denmark. Anyone from Denmark? I'm sure your country's great. It's just this bit started rolling and I don't know how to stop it now. <laughs> yeah. A rolling stone gathers no moss, but this one sure does. Olin is the sole survivor of the cave but he's only just barely alive. He's been taken to the mayor's house. Mayor's house, huh? Oh, must be in here. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could have checked that first, right? <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's Priest Turd Whistle. Why have the gods done this to Olin? A kind of man does not walk upon this land. Or a kinder man, which means he's made of chocolate and has a tiny toy in it and has been banned in North America. <laughs> Ugh, arg, help, help. Are you going to be a surfer? I think I'm going to make you a surfer. Olin and the others are experts at their work. But could one of them have caused this accident? What should I do? I just have no idea as to the best course of action. If he doesn't improve soon, this child won't survive through the night. Alright, well, let me... Let me touch him. <laughs> let me Let me touch him. Why do I have to, like, try to walk out? Just come in at some point, Septimus. Jesus. By the gods. Klein has given me interesting news, Alundra. I'm going to ignore everyone else in the room. He said that when Olin was brought into town just before he passed out, he whispered the word Merg, 
We have some strange attachment to the sound that my cat makes whenever he's slightly hungry. <laughs> Did you say Merg? It's not even a word. How is it that we have had the misfortune of crossing those devilish monkeys from the tree? And it's even more curious that they've attacked humans. They usually don't do that. The coal mine is near the area where the Merg live. It's quite possible their work disturbed them. Can you imagine the horror of Zane and the others? Hearing the low rumble of the roof about to cave in? Having just enough time to realize what's about to happen and... And then... Buried alive, suffocating under tons of damp, pungent soil. Yeah, that, that would have sucked. Sure glad it wasn't me. <laughs> They're still under there. But why would the Merg react so violently in the first place as to cause such a terrible thing? If we try to rescue Zane and the others, the Merg might attack again. How can I justify risking lives to save lives? Um, uh, carefully. But we can't just wait for it to happen. Alundra, I think we both know what must be done. Stab the mayor. <laughs> Assume control. <laughs> There's only one way to learn what happened at the mine. We need to get a reporting crew. You must enter Olin's mind. You have to explore his dream or whatever state he is experiencing. But remember this word of caution. If Olin should perish while you yet inhabit his unconscious, you will surely perish as well. So, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, wow, you didn't even ask me this time. I'm just like, yoink. Sure hope he doesn't die while I'm in here. I'm in Olin's nightmare. That's cool. Does it have to scream? This vehicle's droll is driven solely by the power of steam. Amazing, isn't it? Of course, it's completely my idea. Not as dense as I appear, but actually a genius. You're Olin. Okay. Hey there, Alundra. Would you go tell Zane to start the engine? I think he's in the back room. Why? You don't even know me. Hello there, Alundra. You've come just in time to help us expand this tunnel. We're pretty sure that northwest of here, there's tons of rich coal. Of course, digging that direction will put us near the big tree of the Mergen habit, but... Eh, fuck them, right? It's not like they want to live. Olin wants me to start the engine? Why didn't he come and tell me himself? Fine, boy. I'll do as you say. But I'll talk to Olin about his choice of messengers later. I'm just kind of a shit, really. All you have to do is throw the levers to the left, left, right, and left. You can remember that, can't you? Or is that too difficult for your tiny elf brain? Alright. I might leave you in the mines, to be completely honest. <laughs> I've met you for five seconds in a dream, and you're racist as shit. About to cancel culture the shit out of Zane. Check it out, Alundra! Finally got a mining bomb! It's cool! <laughs> I'm gonna threaten the government with it! With this baby, I'll be able to smash the- Don't threaten the government with explosives, it's not good. It's a bad thing to do, it's horrible. And y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Anyone who does that. With this baby, I'll be able to smash through stone like nobody's business. Except for my business. Stick around and maybe you can see it in action. Don't stand too close though. <laughs> it's gonna be a big kaboom. That's a big kaboom boom. Oh god. What the? It's Merg. What are they doing here? Ah, they're beating us up. They're giving us the business. Beat him up a lunch. Oh, okay. So these freaky monkeys. I just remembered. This has been a little while since episode one. So these freaky monkeys are called the Merg. Alundra, can you hear me? Olin is hurt very badly. You must hurry. Return to us soon. Alundra, are you all right? What did you find at the mine? Were there Merg? I like how everyone here has just, like, accepted the fact that I just walk through dreams. They're not asking any questions like, why are you crazy? What did you say? Olin and the others were attacked by the Merg? They dug a tunnel into our mine? But why? I am certain that the mine shaft collapsed because of the Merg. I never imagined the Merg were clever enough to dig tunnels, let alone ambush. 
They dug a tunnel into our mine, and when the hole was large enough... Alright, why are you all surrounding me? Those damn baboons must be planning an attack on our peaceful village. Uh, uh... Ah, oh, yeah, you're dying, aren't you? Ah, oh, yeah, he's freaking out. Oh, no. If nothing happens, Olin is going to... No, it's too late. Aw, oh, man, I just gave you a cool surfer voice, too. Uh, yeah, he's out. No! Alundra, you can go home now. I'm sure you're exhausted after the sordid ordeal. Besides, the sorry business now at hand is not your concern. Yeah, you're right about that. Alright, I'm gonna head up. Merga probably preparing to attack his yeah. <laughs> But but you're the hero! No, I gotta go. Like, I just kinda shipwrecked here. The Merg climbed through and attacked, but their hole weakened the stability of the whole mine and it collapsed with a great roar. Say, what what's going on there? Uh Well, bye. Tell me the truth, Alundra. No one else will. Is Olin going to live? Or is he condemned to... Oh, Alundra, this all feels like a strange, horrid nightmare. If it is, why can't I wake up? Who are you? I have never talked to you, but everyone here knows my name. Oh, Keisha. My sister had strong feelings for Olin. Most of them hatred. If she learns he has expired, she will most certainly be crushed. Hey, so your boyfriend died? I can't move. Oh no, cutscene. No! No! I'm Keisha, I'm sad. The gods can be cruel at times. Events like this are a true test of one's faith, Alundra. I can only pray Keisha possesses the strength to withstand this cruel trial. Alright, well, like, that's all valid. I'm gonna go save. <laughs> Alondra, not too long ago, the people of this land prayed to idols. They were material representations of our gods, you know? Hey, no, hey, how you doing? Or, you know, you go talk to all the villagers? What do you want to eat tonight? It's like, hey, what's up, buddy? Let's talk about our island religion for a while. <laughs> but then, quite unexpectedly, the king decreed that all idol worship was forbidden. This is bullshit. I have this entire, like, dildo collection for the goddess of fertility. What am I supposed to do with it? The people had no choice but to comply. We watched the destruction of our statues in tears. About that time, the palace in the North Lake was submerged. Sunk, actually. That's what submerging is. That was five years ago, but it feels as if it was just yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Since that time, we've lost the passion to create. What if the gods became angry and took our passion from us? Or the king. I don't know. I'm not saying they did, but it certainly makes me think at night, my boy. But, uh, gods or no, I must regain my passion. You know what I'm saying? I'll make a new dildo. <laughs> I can almost hear Olin's spirit talking to me, demanding that I make dildos. <laughs> I mean, the finest weapons once more. What am I saying? Or even better, demanding I assist in the fight for this land. Oh, God, I just thought there was something I showed one of my friends a while back. It was a, uh, it was an urn, but it was like a dildo urn, and you would put the ashes of, like, a loved one inside of it. And I was like, this is horrifying. <laughs> I'd have to find the website, but I don't want it in my search history. Uh, this is the mining bomb. It's actually just a bomb, but since it's used for mining, that's what they call it. Thanks. Astute observation. <laughs> it's a nice way to get through rocks, you know what I'm saying, Alundra? With this, you could easily get into, I don't know, the coal mine. It's just too dangerous to attempt, my boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. Here's the plan. I go to the mine, I see if it's safe, and maybe I let you go inside. You stay here, alright? One way or the other, I'm gonna keep you alive through this. Yeah, you, you're kind of giving me the uncle at the beginning of Legend of Zelda, uh... Which one? Uh, Link to the Past vibes? But also, you're like... Here's a bomb. You can use it to get into the mine. I'm gonna sit it here unprotected. You're not gonna take it, right? 
All right, I'm gonna go to the mines and maybe I'll let you in. I'm not gonna lock you in or anything. I'm just gonna leave you with an open door and the bomb that lets you go to the mines. <laughs> it's like, thanks, Jess. Alundra disobeys and stealthily takes the mining bomb, stowing it in his pack to avoid detection from nobody, because no one's here. <laughs> All right, so how how do I equip it, actually? Fuck yes. Okay. Circle sets the bomb. Once thrown, once lit, throw it immediately. Oh no. <laughs> so the first thing I do when given a bomb is blow it up inside my benefactor's house. I might be a bad person. I'm not gonna... It's gonna... Hey, you know your sister? Boom. Now you don't have to worry... Okay, that didn't do anything, but whatever. Would've been funny, though. Uh, let's let's go do a little bit more. I, sh I should probably save, but I'll, I'll save after I do a little bit more. I want to get a little bit further. It's been a lot of talking and not a lot of action, except for uh, the jellyfish boss. The old, uh, the old ad antacid looking ass. Just look like a big jelly goo. Big ridiculous magoo. What are you laughing about? I don't know if I want to see what you're laughing about. You know, show it to me later. I'm busy. G g give me a little bit, and then I can see whatever's making you have the giggles. Because I am curious about what the giggles are about, but... Wife is over here hee-hawing about something. I don't know what it is. Oh, you know what? I bet I could use this to kill those slimes. And fucking, uh do the business. Um, that's not gonna hit me, is it? Ow. Alright, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, get close to it. It's fine. Hell yeah. We're in there. Oh no, slimes! Ah, you're easy to beat whenever you're not five of you and swarming around me like a bunch of crazed bastards while I'm trying to get up a platform. Yeah, you like that shit? The hell? Ten gilder. I did all that work for ten bucks. Are you freaking serious? There's gotta be more in here. I was about to say, I will... I fucking get angry. <laughs> I will I will get actually angry. Uh, is that a fish? Oh, it jumped. Oh man. This is slightly more dangerous than I thought it was gonna be. Eh. I thought it was gonna be like, oh you did it. Here's the platform. Yeah, there's Tin Gilder right there. Who gives a shit about Oh I gotcha bitch. Slightly more dangerous than I expected. Like I expected to get to the top and be like, oh god damn it, I can't even go over here. There's a chest right over there. God damn it. Alright. Well, at least I know a way to get up here, so this is pointless for the moment. That's okay. That's okay. I know how to I know how to get there now, and that's important. Ah. Heads up. Kaboom. Hey buddy. Alundra, why do you have that mining bomb? Oh, are you crazy? You can't go into the mine. You should be lucky to come out alive. I refuse to let you go, Alundra. You can't. You shouldn't. Oh, I give up. I didn't even try very hard. Promise me this, all right, Alundra? If you sense danger, don't be a hero. Just get out of there alive, okay? Okay. I'll do that. But I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and go safe. Uh, and then... When we come back, we'll head into the mine. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching this little bit of a lunger with me. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, uh, leave a comment below and uh, throw a like up if you can. It actually does help me a great deal. Uh, the algorithm is crazy, but it, it definitely does benefit from uh, y'all seeing it. I don't want to beg for it. Please don't. Please, please don't misunderstand. I really don't. Oh, hey, a chest. I got a Gilded Eagle. Nice.
But yeah, if y'all are enjoying the series or if there's something that you'd really rather see or anything else, yeah, any, any kind of comment is very helpful. It helps me understand what y'all want to see and, and helps me make some decisions as to what I'm going to do. There's a lot, of, a lot of different things I could get into. You know, there's going to be a lot of RimWorld. We could talk about Valheim. There's, there, there's a good number of things. But if you enjoyed this episode, I'm very glad, and I will see you next time in the mines. Bye, everybody.